What's going on, everybody? So, um, kind of different for a title for a video and everything. Distractions, you know, my thoughts and improving. But I was trying to focus on a key few words here. So, over the probably the past two months, I would say roughly, I keep track of a lot of numbers. A lot. And... It's no secret probably out there anymore, but next year by this time frame, I'm going to leave my day job and I'm just going to be retired. By doing that, I have certain goals that I have to meet along the way, or whatever you want to call them, checkpoints and stuff like that. And I've been slacking onto those um, milestones, I guess you could call them in a way, and I'm sure it happens to a lot of people out there. And a lot of it is just my fault completely. A lot of people probably wouldn't say it's their fault to point fingers and everything else. But I took a long, hard look at some uh, data that I do for myself. And it's just not how much I spend at my day job. But it's uh, how many hours do I spend on videos? How many hours do I spend you know, selling cards. How many hours do I spend on the cell phone talking to everybody from a distributor to uh, somebody having questions to answering emails? All that stuff gets compiled up because I was wondering, like, where did all my time go? And so I started putting all this stuff in there. And I found where my long i guess you could say my one real big fault is is that i spend over 21 hours a week on the cell phone now granted that's not me clicking on ebay and stuff like that. that's me talking texting uh people back and forth ig messaging all that stuff and to where it started becoming a big issue to where i couldn't keep up with it all and i would be multitasking a lot of time frames so I sent an email out earlier this week and just said from May 10th to the 22nd, I'll be limited in being available for talking. And the reason behind it is I want to get stuff set up for all these shows I want to do through the summer. Uh, that's, you know, getting the cards, the right ones I want to bring out. I want to focus on, you know, sales and stuff like that there, along with videos for YouTube or, as they call it, content for YouTube. Which a lot of times, I'll be honest, I have just wing it. I really do. I wing a lot of the content that comes out there, the videos, however you want to word it. A lot of times I read through the comments, seeing if anybody else has any suggestions of something that can be done out there as well. Just because I think, well, if this one person's asking for it, how many other people are out there, you know, wanting that video? And I keep a list here of stuff like that offhand. Well, back to the original whole thing of this, um, I just, uh, I sent the email out to about somewhere between 20, 25 people. There were some people I didn't have to email, of course, because I'm lucky if I talk to them once a week. But when I'm on the phone or somebody calls me, you know, normally I'm doing something else. I'm either, say, doing eBay listings, I'm doing videos, I'm, or, you know, the, uh, what do they call that? I, I can't even think right right now where I'm putting all the video together and stuff on Filmora. I could be trying to open up wax, listing stuff on my slabs, whatever it may be. And that phone call, one, I can't give that person my complete attention. At the second time frame, it could just be like, oh, I'm just seeing how you're doing type deal. And I'm like, I'm doing good doing this, this, and this. And they're like, hey, what are you up to? And I say, I know I'm doing this, this, and this. And, you know, it's just one of those conversations to where, you know, it, it, I know it's going to lead into, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Help me comp this and stuff like that. Or the, a lot of times people will not ask me for help on comps. They run around the whole thing and they want me to do it for them. And like I tell everybody, I give everybody the tools to go out there and try to do their best onto it because... I may, I'm not the best person at comping out there. I'm just going to look at it and figure it out as I go type deal. I try to find a price, mark how I found it in my head, so when people try to explain why they don't want to pay this or that for it, I can throw out my facts onto it type deal. 
And that's where that whole eBay caught monster video came out with uh, today, which I did like a day ago uh, before that. But when that happens, you know, I lose my focus and train of thought. Next thing I know, it's now 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night. And, you know, I need to get to bed to get some rest for work the next day. And I have not accomplished my tasks for today. So I do know as, you know, however you want to look at it as an individual, sole proprietor, business owner, prospect, you know, you have to be able to talk to everybody. But the same time frame, you know, when you're talking to people three, four times a week and you're giving them, you know, six hours of your time, it, it takes a lot to where I'm not getting done what I need to get done. So I had a couple of people respond back and, you know, I want to put it out there because I know probably if they thought it, some of the other people thought it too. And I know you guys watch the YouTube channel. I'm not pinpointing anybody out there. It's my own fault for letting it get out of control like that of always assisting, helping out. I don't mind helping at all. Don't get me wrong. But to me, if I call somebody and they're busy, I'm like, hey, what's up? Hey, man, whenever you get a free chance, you know, would you mind helping me with this? Give me a call back, text, whenever you get some free time. Nothing today, it could be tomorrow, next day, whatever. But you'd be surprised how many people don't do it that way. And I started thinking, I mean, it's just because you get relaxed and talking to somebody and they're always willing to help and do whatever, you know. Uh, it, it's just, it was been, a, I don't want to use the word distraction, but it's taken a lot of my time up to where I need to invest it in other places, still get my rest you know, have my Sandy and be able to watch a hockey game, especially during playoffs now. Or maybe watching, you know, an hour-long TV series or something like that to where I, I have not been able to do it. And again, it's my own fault. And this is stuff if it's happening to you out there as well or, you know, you start getting bombarded. I mean, you might not do YouTube or nothing, but just to be able to put something out, feel like you're in the venting process and stuff like that. I don't see any reason why you should feel bad about it because, you know, you're like, hey, I'm really busy out there. But it's not one person out there. It's not a group of people. I guess you kind of say it's a group of people. But, you know, I had to put it out there, you know, hey, these this is still going to be going on, still be sending out the PSA tracker, still going to be doing this, that, and everything else because I knew if I didn't, I'd get those questions. <laughs> Are you still doing this? You still doing? It? Of course I am, but it's just I'm limiting my time talking on the phone. Uh, mostly, I mean, Instagram messages, emails, and um, text messages. Pretty easy, you know. Except for whenever you get to a couple people, just get carried away with text messages, and it goes on for like an hour. It's like, oh my gosh, just call me, type deal. But yeah, so I mean. It's real whenever you start doing this stuff and you're looking at, you know, pulling out of your day job. I don't want to say do cards full time because I still have a retirement and I have VA benefits and everything like that. But I want to be able to relax because ever since 2000, I've worked hard. Um, and not just in the sports card world. I mean, I don't really talk much about my Army life, but I was a recruiter for three years. Then I deployed for 14 months almost. You have all the train up before it. Then you come back and it's like, hey, you're a drill sergeant for three years. Boom. There goes all your days and nights. And especially when you're an infantry drill sergeant, you're not doing just the eight or nine week basic training at that time frame. You have the advanced individual training on afterwards, which is another five weeks. Oh, wait, no, we're doing mortars this time. So it's an additional another week or two weeks onto that. And then you get like two weeks off and then it's like, boom, right back into it all. Then I went to... Uh, Fort Carson, and it was deployment, came home for about 17 or 18 months, deployment again, and then I got came out to Fort Knox, Kentucky, and retired. So always been, you know, pushing, pushing, pushing. And as I start thinking about later in life and stuff, you know, you get to sit there and look at your Facebook friends. They're like, oh, I'm on vacation. I'm doing this and that. Like, man, when's the last time I took a vacation? I call setting up or going to a card show vacation, you know? Some people tell me that's really sad. I'm like, that's kind of like my vacation right there. Because um, I'm always doing stuff. You know, you got home improvements, you know, home maintenance that's got to be done to whatever in the sports car world I'm doing. Then the day job. I figured once the day job after April next year, you know, I'll have tons of free time to do all kinds of stuff. I'll probably be loathing for people to call me on the phone then <laughs> type deal. I'll be like, man, 
kind of lonely. Nobody's calling me on the phone like they used to. But no, it, I just wanted to uh, put this out because I know some people may take it personally by the email, and it's really not. It's hard to put my thoughts in emails because whenever you read something, you could take in so many different perspectives out there. The words don't really have like a real true meaning behind it. And some people are like, is he mad? Is he sad? Is he okay? You know, no, I'm perfectly fine. It's just I got to buckle down and get stuff done. And I don't mind helping people out with their hobby or their selling or whatever. But when it's nonstop and helping out, you know, say somebody for three months straight, four days a week, two hours a day, that's eight hours, you know, it's a lot of time. It's a lot of time. And I mean, don't get me wrong. People are thankful for help. And I'm thankful that, I, you know, grateful that I can help somebody out, teach them and stuff. But it just comes to a time where it's like, man, where time going in days and stuff. So, yeah, basically, you know, what I want to get at with this video is, you know, you have plenty of distractions in life. And whether you should actually call them distractions or not. You know, you have a lot of time that will go out to various spots. And I'm just, I'm very thankful that I've learned how to, you know, track stuff like that, figure what where I need to cut, you know, some of this stuff down and, you know, make improvements to. It's always difficult difficult on stuff like that, change. Nobody likes change type deal. You know, Fanatic's taken over. Nobody likes change. Is it going to be good? Probably not, but still change. Um, but... With it all, um, I, I want to start being going back and setting up the card shows like I did, oh gosh, a decade or so ago. Because you get to talk to people. I know it's a burn. You got to set up, tear down, you know, worry, am I going to make money to pay for my tables today and stuff like that. But, you know, at the end of the day, you get to drive home. During the drive home, you kind of like, you know, simmer yourself down, get home, you're tired, you want to eat some dinner, and then you get to do whatever you want. But, yeah, I mean, honestly, if you did get the email or you didn't get the email and you're like, why didn't I get the email? It's probably because I honestly talked to you very rarely and it just didn't really pertain. It was more to always um, doing a lot of help with a lot of people out there. And it's just that, you know, it took a lot of my time. Um, and sometimes, you know, when you beat a dead horse in the ground with the same subjects, you're like, I don't know where else I can help you at because I've given you all the tools and stuff out there. And, you know, I got it with comp monsters and stuff like that out there. But, you know, a lot of times when I'm working and I'm trying to listen on a phone call, you know, it, it's just hard. Um, and if I stop what I'm doing, I'm losing time and stuff on to, especially, you know, here in, Oh, I was in 10 breaks with the Blez and three with Platinum and four with Leighton. I'm just throwing breakers out there. And this break had this and that. I'm like, holy cow, I get a recap. Or I'd get guys that would like recap my emails to me. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. You know, half hour recap an email I sent out. All right. Uh, then I start thinking, is my wording correctly? I'm not getting out what I want to in information. But. Yeah, kind of, you know, when you start hitting that burnout mode, you got to take a step back, refigure your process and everything. Don't worry, still doing videos, still doing sales, all that fun stuff, still good old me. It's just that if you try calling me on the phone anymore, um, I'm probably not going to be picking up as much. I might pick up just to see what's up and stuff like that. But it's to the point to where I got to get other stuff done to meet certain milestones of my own just so I can make myself set up for success. And I'm not saying success in a sports car world. It's success from, you know, leaving your day job. Kind of scary thought, huh, um, in a way. But I want to be able to just travel when I want to. You know, there's so many things I want to do. And like I tell a lot of people, I put a lot of time in the Army with everything I did. And then, you know, at the end of it all, I started working for a job. And I was second shift as a supervisor and um, from there I started a tax business and then I got brought back in HRC, uh, for the army, which is human resources center, finished a, uh, master's degree. And it's just like, where time go? I was a breaker for years. And, you know, when you're a one man show and you don't have, you know, uh, like I'm not married. I don't have any kids here. Nothing like that to sit there. You can help me do a lot of stuff. It's all on yourself. 
Um, and if you try to reach out for help in a way, you know, sometimes it's like, kind of feels weird in a way, you know, it's like some people might think, oh, you know, is this a job he's looking for? I don't have to pay somebody to do this stuff, you know, and stuff like that there. Um, but no, no, I'm good. Everybody it has been hitting me up like, hey, you're quiet. You're, you haven't posted on IG or you haven't posted here. I haven't heard much of you in two weeks. You good? Nah, I'm good. Just got to get a lot of stuff done. You know, I got to prioritize what I need to get done in order to meet all my goals for next year. And just be able to say, yeah, I'm retired. What do I be? 40, holy cow, five, 45 and a half ish, something like that. And it's just time to take that ultimate break and, you know, a beaten down body from the army, you know, try to heal what I can of it and, you know, see if I can improve some of the old bumps and bangs of ever waking up every morning, trying to get out of bed and different joints and bones just ache and stuff like that there, you know. But, yeah, everything's good, man. Everybody out there. I just I want to put this out because I don't think a you know a lot of people uh, would do something like this because you're throwing yourself out there for the world to hear and stuff like that. But sometimes it's good just to be when you're. I don't want to use the word alone because that kind of sounds bad. But like when you're, you know, you don't have like a family here and, you know, half the time I'm talking to a dog or something like that, you know, it's not the same thing, but you just want to kind of put some words out there, vent. And plus, you know, other people always comment back and stuff. And, you know, some people are like, Hey man, you know, did you ever think about doing this, this, and this? I'm like, Whoa, that would cut a bunch of time. And I can't tell you how many videos I've done over time with something like this, where people have offered up ideas. I'm like, Oh, that's great. I like that. So, hey, feel free to make comments. If you guys know different ways to improve, you know, cut time and still have the same production level, I'm good on it. Same thing with videos and AKA the content. If you guys got stuff you want me to do and see, go for it. Hit me up. I'll try doing it. Um, eventually, you guys are going to start seeing me doing videos outside. I know, kind of crazy, you know, out in the woods and stuff. No. We're not going to go out there running around playing army and spying on people. Just God might just stop somewhere during one of my hikes or something and just talk baseball cards for a little bit, you know, something like that. But just trying to get out, you know, get some, I don't know if I want to get some, uh, what do they call that stuff? Vitamin A, vitamin D, the sun gives you in your skin. One of you guys know offhand out there. I forget. But, you know, just to be able to get outside, breathe some fresh air. Hopefully there's not a whole lot of pollen in it. But that's pretty much it, everybody. I just want to come on and give a full video on to because I know some people think I've been distant or some people got the email and they're all worried or they think, hey, oh, man, it's all because of me. No, no, no. It's not because of any one person or anybody out there. It's just that I let myself get wrapped up into doing so much out there that I let my own stuff slide. And I got to get my own stuff done type deal. Um. Just trying to look. I jotted down some notes here. I just want to make sure I've hit it all. Okay, real quick, since I got this going here, and it's going to be like same night video. Um, if anybody ever wants to come on overtime with me, Jacob or Joey, or you don't see anybody on but me, hey, just let me know. You guys come on, talk cards, or act crazy with me and stuff. I don't. It don't bother me at all. I like having a good time on that. Still do those like twice a month. I'll figure out the dates between shows and drives and stuff like that there. So next Friday will definitely be an overtime. Uh, I think I'm looking at 9.30 p.m. start time, maybe 10 p.m. Eastern start time that night, but I'll figure that out. I got a show that next day in Louisville, but it's not a far drive, and I'll have everything loaded way, way, way before that time frame. Ooh. If you guys – oh, the other thing I wanted to th say – if you guys ever want to get into a mass Zoom, because I got a Zoom account paid for, um, and just want to do like a trade night with all, you know, maybe like 10 of us or something, do some trades and stuff, I'm open to that too, to where we could set it up, um, you know, internally. It wouldn't be on YouTube or nothing, but we can go on Zoom and do like a trade night type deal, which might work out eventually onto something like that. Let me know. But that's really about it, everybody. I'm going to get back. i get some work done. Um, man, I can't believe Sidney Crosby got hurt last night for the Penguins. Ugh, frustrates me, man. I'm hoping he's not too badly jacked up because we need to get that win. Need to get that win. 
All right. That is everything I think I had on my list here. So I am out, guys. Take care. Have a good one. And yes, I did give you a little bit different background instead of the blank. I just threw some vintage up I had here. Um, have a good one. I'll catch you guys next video.